back to sleep, it's almost light These restless thoughts have kept me up again tonight Hey there, I'm your host Kirsten Oliphant and welcome to the Create If Writing podcast where I help you think about authentic platform building without being smarmy. And I'm really glad you're listening today. This is going to be a short episode just with me. I have some really fantastic interviews coming up that you guys are going to get to hear. One with Joanna Penn from the creativepen.com that's Penn with a double N as she says on her podcast, but I've been a long time fan and got to interview her a few weeks ago. So that's coming up next week. And I also interviewed literary agent Maria Rebus, and that will be coming up in, I guess, I don't do math well, two weeks. <laughs> so or three. Um, but yes, this week is just me. And I want to talk tonight about how saying yes, sometimes means saying no. Actually, it always means saying no. But before we get into that, I want to remind you guys about the foundation series and it's in full swing. Last week, 20 of you guys, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is when you'll consider 20 of you guys sat in for an hour and a half while I talked your ear off about blogs and how you can be intentional and how your why can help your blog be more successful and cohesive. This week, actually tonight, the date of the recording of this podcast, which is, I had to look at the date as always, March 16th, we're doing the email section and you guys, many of you have heard my trainings on email or talks on email or have taken the free email course, which is freeemailcourse.com in case you haven't taken it, but we are going to be talking about email and how you can be intentional with your email and kind of tie that in with your blog and your whole cohesive strategy. And I'm very excited about this. So if you want to sign up, it's at creativewriting.com forward slash foundation series. And you can sign up for free. All the replays will be available. You can already watch the blog one since we did it last week. And about a week after the third one, which will take place on Tuesday, the 22nd, uh, all the replays will come down a week after the last video. And I'm actually going to repackage these and add a little bit of bonus content on there and make this into a mini course because it's it's a lot of information and I'm really excited to share that with you. So definitely join while it's free and come to the live email training. And if you're hearing this and it's not on the 16th, just go sign up. You can register and still get in on the visual branding and you can also get the replays. And if it's a year from now and you're listening to this I'm really sorry, and I don't know what I'll be doing because I can't see in the future. But as for today, I'm going to be talking about why saying yes means saying no. This is something I talked about in my email last week to my subscribers, and it's something I've been learning the hard way. I'm really good at learning lessons the hard way. And one of the things that I've learned is that I really love new things, new, it's not quite the shiny object syndrome or the, you know, squirrel but I really like starting new projects. I'm really bad at finishing. I need to hire like a finisher. Is that a thing? I think about the closer, but that's totally different kind of thing. But if I could hire someone to finish things, that would be great. So I am a really good starter. And that means I say yes to a lot of things because I get excited about the next new thing that I want to move on to. I don't always like finishing the old thing. I get tired in the middle and then want to move on. So I say yes a lot. And What I've realized is that whenever I'm saying yes, I'm actually saying no, because when you say yes to something, you are saying no to something else. What I mean is this, if you're saying yes, I'm going to add X, Y, Z into my life that has to fit somewhere. And for that to fit already into your life, something else has to go away. Now, maybe that's sleep, which is normally what takes place in my life. Surprise, surprise. I give up sleep. Maybe it's watching TV and Netflix. Maybe it's time with your family. Maybe it's your sanity. Maybe it's other work. But whenever you're saying yes to something, you have to make room for that thing in your life, which often means saying no. Not often, always. It always means saying no to something. But what is that thing and how do you make that decision? So I asked this question or talked about this in my Facebook community, which If you're not a part of it, you really need to join. It's creativewriting.com forward slash community. You'll find the link in there. And Sharon Hines from Teaching Mrs. Hines said that a balanced life is not doing it all. 
It's choosing according to your priorities. And we've all heard that myth before, right? Where if you have a balanced life, you're doing it all and you're doing it all in a balanced way. Well, no, she's saying that it's not doing it all. You can't do it all. Nobody can do it all. It's choosing according to your priorities. So whenever you're saying yes, you are prioritizing something over something else. And I know this sounds really basic, but this really kind of blew my mind because I am always saying yes to things. And just recently, I've started getting more and more opportunities and I've had to remind myself of something that I really want to do all the time. But for me, the pause is kind of praying first. And that may not be what it is for you as you're trying to make the decision about what to say yes and what to say no to. But for me, it's prayer. And that's a hard one because I don't always get a sense of a really clear answer, but I feel like it's definitely something I'm called to do. And so I do it. And, you know, this week I got an opportunity that I was like, no brainer, that's a yes. But I thought, well, I really want to start, you know, getting in the habit. I have to say, you know, no to something. So I'm going to go ahead and pray about all these opportunities, even though clearly this is a yes. And after praying about it, I sort of felt like I needed to pause. I didn't mean I said need to say no, but for now it's a no. And that really made me kind of sad, but it's, it's one of those things that for me, I can't quite articulate exactly why, but I know it. Like I know it in my bones that it's a no for right now. I've said a lot of yeses lately, and I have some really big projects I can't wait to tell you guys about, including a blogging summit, which I'm running. So more on that probably next week. But I've said a lot of yeses, and that means that something's going to have to go. And I'm not sure exactly what that is, because I say yes without thinking. What am I saying no to? So for you guys that are like me, or even if you're not like me, if <laughs> and saying yes to everything, that's how I am, which is weird because I'm really, I'm really good at saying no to things, which is a totally different thing. I think it's a different kind of no that I say. I know I'm really good at saying no if I realize I can't do something. So I'll put it like that. But I'm good at saying yes to new things because they excite me. And so I'm learning that if I do that, I have to fit the new thing in somewhere. And so something has to give. And for me, I don't work with my kids at home because, well, it my kids are crazy active. They, the oldest is seven. I have four kids. So it just doesn't work for me. They are not self-entertaining. The two younger ones who are two and one, or I guess they're almost two and almost three now. They both need a lot more handholding and getting out my computer is like the sure sign of death in my household because everything goes crazy. And I think they want my attention. And then I get frustrated because I'm pretty task oriented. So for me, I don't work when they're home. I work at night like right now where it's midnight and the house is quiet for a moment or sometimes during nap time, but nap time is not a guarantee. So I just don't work a lot when they're home. So if they're in school, that's it. School or Mother's Day out or preschool, that's when I get work done. So that's one of the things for me. I say no to work then, but if I'm saying yes to a new project while I haven't said no to anything else or while no other projects have been finished, it means I have to jam that yes somewhere into my already existing schedule. And that's really hard. I don't always know where to do that. And I don't realize sometimes that I need to do that until I've already said yes. So I've said a lot of yeses and a lot of no's just in this tiny podcast episode. And this is going to be a tiny podcast episode because I've said yes to some things this week, which means the podcast is going to be shorter. But I want to leave you guys thinking about this. Maybe you're like me and you don't realize every time you say yes, you're saying no. Maybe you don't realize that every time you take on a new role or a new responsibility, you're actually taking something out of your life. You're having to, you have to choose. You're making a choice to prioritize something. So what are you saying yes to right now? And what does that mean you're saying no to in your life? I hope that this question is something that sparks kind of some thought in your mind, and maybe some consideration as new projects and opportunities come your way. I know it has for me. And again, it seems really, really simple, but it's kind of a big, important point because when you say yes, you're saying no. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As a sort of call to action at the end, I really would love to see you guys at the Foundation Summit tonight, talking about email, March 16th. And again, that's createifwriting.com forward slash foundation series. And if you guys are not hearing about these 
live training events and the various things that I'm doing. I've got a lot of free resources that come your way in the weekly quick fix that comes out on Thursdays and just all my monthly live training. So you can find out more if you subscribe to my email where I share all of these things weekly with you guys. And I don't spam, but I do send you the information that you need about the live trainings and the locations and times, plus the weekly quick fix, which is just curated links that I have of things that I'm reading and intriguing articles that may help you as you're building your authentic platform. So you can sign up at createifwriting.com forward slash subscribe. All right. Well, it's been great giving this tiny mini episode to you guys, and I hope it's given you something to think about, but reach out to me on Twitter at Kiki Mojo, send me an email, Kirsten at KirstenOliphant.com. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd love to know how you make the decision about saying yes and saying no. You are listening to music from Jasmine Commerce at JasmineCommerceMusic.com. Thanks so much for listening. And I hope you have an inspired week. Oh.